Boobers. What's up, Abner? Funny enough, yesterday, uh, no vlog yesterday because I was really tired. Uh, LA was crazy and it took a lot out of me to, you know, not have any days off and just go do LA. LA's already exhausting as it is. Plenty of heat came in yesterday as you saw on social media. Uh, funny enough, I saved my boxes all day yesterday and opened them when I got home and I filmed it when I got home and then I deleted the footage this morning because I forgot that I filmed it and I was like deleting the memory card for today and I deleted all of it. So that was a complete waste of time, but also funny. Uh, shout out to, I did have a couple packages come in and now I don't. So shout out to, there's a note in this one. It's not the note. A gift for you, Teddy, just a little thank you. Uh, from Neil, getting greasy 88. Boom, we hooked him up with the, he was the winner of our $1 order, so he hooked me up. Um, I don't know if he's the one that posted this on Twitter the other day, but this thing right here, someone mixed their matcha in it, and it looks super sick. Boom, thank you, let's get some light. Thank you for that, I'm super stoked on this thing. And then also, from the homeboy, there's a note in this one too. There it is. From Blake Curvin? At Blake K. He gave me, sent me some more beard oil to try out, so we'll give this a shot as well. Thank you. Uh, always super appreciative of anything you guys send me. It's super cool. I'm always surprised, and I know everyone loves opening. And then yesterday, we also got uh, the Future Craft 13 straight to the feet. We don't play no games here, do we? We don't play no games here, do we? No, oh, fam. We also have a new rug. Uh, the ex-girlfriend cleaned the shit out of the apartment. Well, I've already been here for 20 minutes, so, but. Shout out to Alex for cleaning the apartment. Believe it or not, that means it's getting better. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be too crazy. Uh, I gotta go to work. I have one appointment today. I don't have a lot going on. Work is changing a lot for me because I, uh, I don't know, I don't have as much time as I used to have, you know, and trying to do all this and traveling and all the stuff I wanna do with, uh, you know, vlogging. It's just harder to manage. And uh, yeah, so my client are gonna, my client list may become shorter and shorter as the time goes on, but we'll see. It's just a lot. I'm trying to do it all. Uh, let's try this. Ugh, Jesus. Ugh. We're getting ready for another drop tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday, right? Yeah, tomorrow there's another drop. Uh, I don't know what time yet. I have no idea what time. I'm gonna assume it's gonna be during the daytime, so I would check around, you know, noon or something like that. Uh, check my Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever. I don't have any shoes coming in the mail, I don't think. I don't think I do. This is crazy. There's been, a, everything's crazy. Like, I can't even keep up right now. There's not much dropping, but I saw like the Oreo, Oreo colorway drop. Ultra Boost dropped in like some champ stores. There's this other shoe that the Audi Zero dropped in some places. I don't know if it actually came out, came out, but that green with the stripes painted on this, the Audi Zero, whatever the fuck it's called, the green one. That, um, OG NMDs are redropping on Saturday the 14th, in store and online. I'm going for those. I'm going for multiple pairs of those. So uh, definitely need to get those. Um, that's a must cop for sure. It's one of the ones I'm missing from my collection. And I've only been really missing it because I didn't want to pay $800 resale when I knew that shoe was coming back out. Um, yeah, gonna get those. And there's also these, um, the Adidas Aniki. Is that how you say it? Aniki. Iniki. 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 Uh, Iniki. Maybe it's called an Iniki. Like an iPod or an iPad. Iniki. No release date. Sometimes in 2017. And they're $120. Yeah, those are cool, I guess. I don't know yet. Um, it's not prominent, that's for sure. So we'll see how that goes. 
Yeah, but they're uh, releasing five different colorways of that shoe, the Aniki or Nike, I don't know what it's called, but uh, five different colorways, full length boost. Um, all of them have white stripes, except for the white colorway has a blue stripe. I'll grab a pair just to try, but it's not a pair that I'm like really like going crazy for right now. Um, we'll see what happens as it unfolds, I don't know. Uh, we have the City Sock 2 that's, that's coming soon. I'm really, really looking forward to that. That's something I'm really looking forward to. Uh... Um, I think there's some new 3.0 Ultra Boost colorways that are all going to drop February 1st. Um, so I'm going to imagine that's when you're going to see that Oreo color hit uh, more stores. There's a new red colorway coming, some different blues. Like your stuff you've seen leaked, I'm, you're going to start seeing like slowly come out. February 1st, I would expect another drop from Adidas in the Ultra Boost department in store and online, I would assume. Also releasing in February is the Adidas Pure Boost. Uh, that shoe, sure about. I don't know if I'm going to cop that or not. Love it. But, um, it's, I'm not a huge fan of it right off the bat. Uh, it kind of took all the elements of the shoes I don't like and put it together. So we'll see. I don't really know. Uh, I'm willing to try one out maybe, but um, off looks alone, it's not something I'm like going crazy for. Uh, and then January 26th, we get that EQT support. It's got like the shaved out boost. Um, at first, I didn't know what I was gonna do with that one, but now I'm really looking forward to copping it. I'm interested in it. It's got a prominent upper boost, full length. Uh, it's got some straps on it that kind of worry me, but I like it. I like the shoe. The, the infrared pink is going to be something I think we're going to see a lot from Adidas this year. Get your plugs now, fam. All the pairs. So, uh, yeah, I think it's awesome. I'm really looking forward to this year with Adidas. I think it's going to be a great year. So far, off to a great start. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go to work and get my day started. So. the vlog and I edited the last vlog leaving LA. I edited it. I edited it. I edited. Why can't I say this right now? I edited. It sounds so weird to me. I edited. I edited. I did an edit on the vlog the coming home from uh, LA and I forgot to put my homies at and information in there. It's time to rock this. This is the embroidered sweater that we did. This is chain stitch. You can kind of see it. I don't have my light out right now, but it's in, it's stitched in. Like these are handmade. These take hours to make each. It's not quick. Um, so the, this is a one of one. This is the sample. I don't have a lot of details about this. This is going to be a collab with me and Sean basically. So I don't have a lot of details about this. They're not cheap. Sorry already. Uh, there's going to be people that are going to be, are going to gasp when they see how much these will cost. But this is basically like handmade clothing. Very, very rare with the stitching. Um, I'm super excited to get this. My homie Sean Lindauer, uh, who in the back of his tattoo shop, High Seas, where the pop-up was, he has his chain stitching area, and that's uh, Melrose Chain Stitch. But yeah, if you need anything or you're interested in any of the stuff you saw, check them out. This is the jam. You see me wearing this. Maybe one day the one of the the original sample will be for sale, but right now it's not. I've gotten some crazy offers already. Um, this one's actually printed on a bait sweatshirt. That's it. I'm gonna take this off and put this on. Oh, and this, cause everyone's gonna ask. It will, not everyone, but someone. But someone will ask. This shirt is long gone. I got it at East Bay in June. Good luck. You are the teasies instead of the Yeezys, the tassel Yeezys. Someone posted it on Twitter the other day, the making one in it. Like, what the fuck is that? So yeah. you don't need a whisk. Nah, oh, fam, you just put it in there. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. It's not self-cleaning. You just put mm -mm. soap and water in it, and it cleans itself. Well, what the hell? Do you... Still have to push the button. Does that make sense? Uh, 
It's still self cleaning. You, know? you just put water in a drop of detergent, and you switch it to clean. Exactly. And it goes, this is made for a boost gun. You're like, oh. Check out my new sample pair box. Sample box. How do you even. Boost guy box. Oh, what? No fucking like batteries. This. No batteries. To be continued. <laughs> Difference. It's like it makes a difference to me. Oh, that actually does make a huge difference. <laughs> My mama got her Yeezys. Yeah, get your mama's Yeezys. You ain't shit. Woo! Say get his mama Yeezys. Mama got Yeezys. Mama. Gang, gang, shirt fold. <laughs> So, uh, today was pretty mellow. Getting ready for this drop tomorrow, which I said, I said earlier, even in the vlog today, if I put it in there, I said it would probably be around 12 or with the vlog. That's not true. Uh, two separate drops are coming and they're gonna come at two separate times. They're completely different. The only thing that will be the same probably is the lanyards. Boost-heaven.com, two different drops. One at 2 p.m., one at 6 p.m. My time, mountain time, Denver, Colorado. Boom, boom, boom. Shout out to the homie at Half Moon Leather Company. Hooked me up with this belt and this keychain. So thank you for that. I need belts. My belt game is slacking. My belt game is not boosted whatsoever. So thank you, I appreciate it. I always appreciate anything you guys send me. If you wanna send me something, the link is in the description. Never expected, always appreciate it. AirPods go, Apple AirPods, yeah. Uh, these are nice, I really like them. I did get them, you saw. Uh, I had to attach these bad Larrys to it, which come from Ear hooks I found online. Tomorrow I'll probably give you like an actual side by side review of these versus Beats, Power Beats. I don't know, Power Beat Wireless. I don't know which ones, but uh, yeah. So, been rocking these. I like them. Well, they just started playing. I started playing damn Migos. They don't stay in my ears great, but yeah, full review coming soon. Boom, boom. So other than that, man, today's just a regular day. I worked, I just did one tattoo. A lot of stuff going on, so it should be a good year for us. Thanks everybody for riding with me. We will probably break 50,000 subscribers this vlog, which is huge for me. It's crazy as fuck, like, it, it's crazy to me, you know, like, I can't believe it. So uh, thank you everyone that watches these. I really appreciate it. Uh, let's keep going, see what we can do. Hopefully I'll be in a city near you very soon. So, uh, but for now, let's go look at some shoes. Okay, so shoe time, shoe time, shoe time. Um, it's been a while, been on the road doing stuff. These came in from Urban Necessities. Shout out to Joel, well, actually JC, Urban, I mean, same thing there, but uh, yeah, man, these are, this is crazy. So I wasn't gonna get these. Uh, JC hit me up one morning or one night and told me that he got his pair. Told me what he paid. I was like, you're crazy, but do your thing. I had just dropped a bunch of money on merch, uh, trying to invest in the company. So I couldn't really like swing the price tag. And uh, JC, man, really shout out, stand up dude. Awesome guy. We're having a pop up there in February. February, yeah, coming soon. Pop up in Vegas. Yeah, man, he got these for me and let me just kind of like pay him back for them. And that was really cool of them, so I didn't miss out. Because let's face it, they're not going to keep coming around. Prices on them are crazy. Uh, my size on GOAT when this happened was like $13,000, which is an absolute insane amount to pay for shoes. I, I can't do it. Uh, I pay a lot for shoes, but not that much. And um, these we ended up getting for around $2,500, which is still a massive amount of money for shoes. Channel and for my collection um, and for myself, I did it. Probably the most expensive shoe that I have by far. So here's the box. Box looks like that. It's got sort of the 3D crosshatch pattern on the box itself too, which is really cool. Uh, front tag, Adidas 3D runner, size 13. Box comes out. You got the black paper, receipt. And there's an extra set of insoles, black insoles that come with this. It's got a handle, this one handle box. And then this is what the shoe looks like. 3D runner. You can see right through that motherfucker. Wow. It's like an elevator. 
Super dope shoe. Uh, this is a grail of grail of grails. I know it's not boost for everyone who keeps reminding me, I know. His Future Crafts is a new line that's coming through Adidas where they're going to start 3D printing a lot of their shoes. This is supposed to be just the beginning, which is also another real push in getting the shoe really the first one. So getting that is, is important to me. The entire shoe is not 3D printed. Most people were under the impression the whole shoe is 3D printed. It's not. You still have a prominent upper uh, that is attached to a 3D printed midsole. So all of this, all of the sole where you normally have boost is 3D printed. The heel cup is 3D printed. And then they attached a continental um, outsole to it. Fire, fire shoe. I mean, really just like a beautiful, I know it's just a black shoe, but it's a beautiful, you know, people say that all the time. People are like, it's just a black shoe. It's just a, like, I mean, there's only so many colors in the world. It's just a, it's just a green shoe. It's just a blue, it's just a blue house. It's just an orange car. It's, that's not the point. Prominent upper, which this prominent is very open. You know, it's like very, very open. The holes in it are huge. So you can see right through the shoe and you can see the infrared, uh, the infrared insole. Uh, you have black rope laces that come with this standard. They are not 3D printed. It's basically your regular Ultra Boost upper. It's just the only real difference is there's no cage on it, which is nice. Prime Knit is a little thicker, I would say, than like a 2.0, 1.0. Certainly not stretchy like a 3.0. It's It's got more form to it, the prime, this knitting, but it's very comfortable. Like, that's one thing I learned about this shoe, putting it on. Um, I have to give more props to the upper on an Ultra Boost because a lot of that comfort in the shoe is coming from the upper and the way that it hugs your foot and keeps your foot in place and it just feels a lot more stable. When I first slid these on, the first thing I noticed was how it did feel like an ultra boost in the sense that I was sliding it on and the upper hugged my foot the same way. They varied the support throughout the 3D printing. Uh, there's different levels of, you know, it's thinned out and, and reinforced in certain areas and it's supposed, it's supposed to be compensating for the different areas of your foot and where pressure is put when you're running or walking. So it's really interesting to see the first model and how they've done this 3D printing and the technology, you know, same as the Alpha Bounce technology um, and the 3.0 Ultra Boost technology where they're uh, video mapping runners feet. This is interesting because when you think about how 3D printers are going to eventually be in all of our homes, essentially one day we could take a jog or a walk or a whatever, come home, put in our specs and 3D print out a shoe that perfectly fits us, you know, I mean, which is super sick. I mean, I don't, I don't know what era y'all are in, but I'm ready for, I'm ready for some space quasar shit, like for sure. So, I mean, we might as well, right? Like look around. We're due for something. The world is fucking crazy right now. The honeycomb pattern, all the set of boosts, you get a nice little honeycomb pattern. This reminds me of like a dilapidated building. Uh, the three stripes that you can make out on the side are 3M reflective. So they're beautiful when they get hit with light. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful shoe. The heel cup is a 3D printed material, which is actually like a lot softer than a regular um, Ultra Boost. Here, the pat pattern on Prominent is pretty much the same to me. Uh, infrared insole is what I would rock in these. I think that just makes it pop. really like the way that looks. I don't know why the light is being such a bitch right now. So as far as comfort goes, uh, everyone today is asking me, are these as comfortable as an Ultra Boost? Is it as good? Is it the best? Is it that? Is it this? Is it that? Will it change your whole life? Oh my God. Uh, no. The answer is absolutely no. I don't know what material this is. I don't know what material the 3D printing is made out of either. Uh, they're not as comfortable as an Ultra Boost. After after wearing them all day long, um, I have to be honest. I was it was very comfortable. Like I didn't notice anything like where I'm like, man, I, these are not comfortable. These are bricks. It doesn't feel good. Uh, like I said earlier, the knitting, the way the knitting hugs your foot, is very reminiscent of an Ultra Boost. But after walking on them for the day and just being on my feet for the day in them, it's not the same. Like it's it just doesn't give you the response that an Ultra Boost gives you. Still very supportive. It's still really, really comfortable. I'll probably wear these a lot. Like if I'm gonna pay $2,500 for a shoe, I'm gonna wear the shit out of it. I mean, you can already see I'm scratching up. There's also like a metal plate on it seems like. Like there's a plating that kind of comes through, which helps with the sturdiness of the shoe. Yeah, it's not boost. Um, <clears throat> when you put it on, you know, when you, when you take a step, you're not gonna feel that like return of your footstep. It just doesn't give you that same bounce. Um, but that's really it, like it's just, you know, to tell you, it's just not boost. So you don't, you know, everybody always wants to know like what number one, what the number one thing is going to be. This is just something different. It's functional. Uh, it's not going to shatter. Like everyone's always talking about it. Like I'd be so afraid to have those. I mean, like they're not shattering, you know, like you, I'm not going to bend it in half, but like, I'm not afraid of it. You know, it looks like it's pretty sturdy. 
I think we're good. You know, I don't think you're gonna be standing there and it's gonna crumble like a wafer cookie. Or dope, man. Like, ah, it's so pretty. This is the uh, Future Craft. Well, it's not the Future Craft. That is the 3D. Does it say Future Craft on it? No. That is the 3D Runner. Uh, look forward to the Future Craft shoes that are also coming soon, which will have boosts on them, I do believe, uh, some of them. But uh, look forward to seeing those coming in 2018 also. Like Adidas said, this is just the beginning of a 3D printed shoe. It's really cool. I mean, when you take it into account, Adidas is innovating and they're looking out for the consumer and the fact that they're trying to get the most comfortable, I mean, the most comfortable walk or run that you can get out of it in footwear. Um, I really appreciate that as someone that enjoys comfort like these. The laces, you know, Adidas, when they send them to you, they lace these on the inside. So the laces come right through on the inside, right? And then you can slide your foot in here. If you slide your foot right in, the laces will just kind of go with it. And then it's like it's a self-lacing shoe. Can you believe they did that? Oh my God. But yeah, anyway, but that's the 3D Runner. Super fire. Super glad to have these. Could not be happier with them, honestly. Um, unless maybe I got them for retail. But yeah. Yeah.